Hi, my name is Roland Leggett from Insight in Australia. I'm a modern workplace specialist and today I want to talk to you about Microsoft SharePoint. So Microsoft SharePoint is a central repository of all your intellectual property. There's three ways we can store content in the cloud. OneDrive, SharePoint and Teams. So OneDrive is me, SharePoint is we as an organization and then Teams is us, a, a, a tight knit group of people sharing content. Now, SharePoint is really, it's a website. And what I want to do today is I want to show you how to create a new SharePoint site, how to customize and design a nice looking SharePoint environment for your team to work with. We'll also look at adding functionality. So we'll add these things called web parts and web parts are really small snippets of XML code that can be reused in different environments, but they'll add functionality. So for example, if you wanted to add a calendar onto your uh, SharePoint team site, you could add a SharePoint web part and that would add the calendar functionality. We'll look at versioning control within SharePoint. We'll look at publishing your SharePoint site and then changing the branding on, on the entire environment. So SharePoint is a massive product, but it should really be your single point of truth. And I want you to think about SharePoint as replacing your map network drive. So if you were in marketing, you may have had the M drive as your map network drive. Statistically, over 60% of the content on those map network drives is duplicates. And what that leads to is confusion with, between teams saying, which version of the file are we working on? With SharePoint, we can commit to a single point of truth or a spot. So let's have a look at how we can really amp up your SharePoint usage today. So here we are in the Office 365 interface. And if I go down and click on SharePoint after clicking on the app launcher, it will launch my SharePoint portal. Now within the SharePoint portal, I could have multiple sites. They could be team sites, they could be publishing sites or communication sites. You know, people often say to me, Roland, what is SharePoint? And I'm like, it's the point at which you share stuff with people. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you would have heard me say OneDrive equals me, SharePoint equals we, and then teams equals us but, the, but that we as a larger organization sharepoint's often used to communicate and collaborate with larger groups of people so in this case i can see i've got multiple sharepoint sites that i can go into and some frequently used sites i can also choose to create a site or a page so i want you to think about this in terms of uh, a web editing tool Okay, so yeah, I can go through and I can create a team site or I can create a communication site and, and a communication site is really that uh, intranet portal type concept. So I uh, you know, could say, well, our site name is to inspire people and you know, we should get a, an address there that you know a url where our site is going to be and we can go through and we can create that site i'm going to cancel that and go to my mark a project team site so within here i can make changes to the site because essentially it's a web page that we're going to used to communicate out to people so on this web page or this website if i click on the cog up in the top right hand corner i could choose to add a page add an application or something like a, a web part which is going to add functionality to the page view my site content get information and permissions about the site maybe apply a pre-existing template as a wash over the site to to make the the site look better uh, i can also look at my usage performance and go ahead and change the look and feel of the site so you know i could go say well 
What about doing something new on the site? Well, would you like a new list of content? Would you like a new document library, a page, a space, a post, a link, a plan, an app? And I could create something like a document library, which would be a list of documents. There is, based on the site template, a pre-existing document library. And if you look at this uh, document library, you'll think, well, that has got a similar sort of look and feel to, to maybe Teams documents or to OneDrive documents. And, and you're right. I mean, I could go in here and I could say create a new uh, Word document directly into this document library. Uh, I could choose to upload a file, but this will now open Word online and allow me to create a, a new Word document in this document library. So if I click on the document name, it's going to be, it's currently document and I'm going to say inspire and change that name to inspire. Going back to my SharePoint page here, um, within my document library, I can see I can create different folders to organize my content and I can create all different types of documents within my document library. I can also click on the ellipsis and from the ellipsis, open documents, share them with people, manage access, download, put automation or rules around these documents. If a document is added to this particular part of the portal, we need to go through an, an approval process. I can rename the document. I could pin that document to the top as it's a very important uh, document, the campaign sales data that we want to uh, keep an eye on. I can also go through and view the version history about the documents, look at compliance details, workflows and properties of the documents. So SharePoint can be viewed as a, a development platform in so far as we can go into SharePoint and create lots of different websites. And these websites could be for communication or collaboration. But SharePoint is generally viewed as, as that outer loop of people that we want to communicate with, where we're talking to a larger audience of people. Okay, so that is SharePoint. Really, this central repository of all your intellectual property. and. We saw how Teams and SharePoint can closely integrate. So don't forget, if you've already got stuff on SharePoint, you don't need to move that across into Teams. You can simply add your SharePoint document library into your Teams channel so that all of your users of that team have access to the SharePoint content. Remember, SharePoint does what it says on the can. SharePoint, it's the point at which you share stuff with people.